Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, this purpose of which is to explain how I'm using the mix settings to overcome a problem that I've discovered with this vintage Junior 60. Um, the models had one maiden and one flight and the initial maiden was done in very foggy misty conditions uh, and it was basically just to try it out and show my old pal his model that I'd put together for him. Uh, he's sadly passed away now and I've now got the model to fly on in his honour. But I took it out the other day and discovered that if you open the throttle, it goes vertical, which I suppose is partly the design of a free flight model. Power on, engine cuts, model glides elegantly back to earth. However, when I'm flying it around in the air, every time I opened the throttle, I was fighting to keep the nose down. So I have added some down thrust to the engine um, or to the motor and I'm sure that'll solve some of the issues. However, I thought another alternative would be to use the mixing facilities that one finds on the Spectrum DX9. Now, I'm sure, and I know that other transmitters have this capability, but I'll show you what I've done with this. You have to bear with me as the uh, background light occasionally goes on and off. There you go. So if we go to mix, Go to mix. I've actually set up a new mix for throttle and elevator. And what that actually means is that the throttle is now the master of the elevator when the switch is activated. So I've still got it set up without this facility and I'll try it out at a safe altitude. Basically, it's operating on switch A, which is a two-way switch, on and off. Now, the ratings, I wouldn't worry too much about them, but I'll explain what I've tried to do. If you watch, here we go. If you watch the indicating bars on the left-hand side, when I open the throttle, the props off by the way, you must always do that when uh, you're playing around with these uh, settings. It's just not safe otherwise. When I open the throttle there is no change to the elevator. It remains the same. However, when I flick switch A... Mix on. Let's go back to get it so you can see it. Now if you watch the elevator, when I actually open the throttle, you'll see it moves. Now I can actually turn the motor off, motor off in terms of the noise, but you'll see that when I open the throttle, move the stick, it's still elevator still moves and if you look on the actual surface it's inducing some down now I don't know if that'll be enough and I'm sure if I played around with it I could actually alter uh, and set this up so that by when flying it I could also alter the trim at the same settings but I'm quite happy with that. That's going to give me the facility to um, take it up, flick the switch, open the throttle and see how the model responds. And what I'm hoping is that obviously when the throttle's open, I want it to climb, but um, I want it to climb in a much more controlled manner, not the vertical uh, demonstration that I experienced the other day. So that's just a little setup using a mix. Uh, why not? We've got these... Uh, high advanced computer programs, you shouldn't be frightened of them. Uh, if it goes wrong, the settings, you can always go back to what it was before. I'm not even sure particularly what all the numbers mean, but I've now set it. Oh, uh, one, one last thing. Um, if I can just do it so you can see it, just bear with me. This offset, I'm not particularly um, 
sure what it, it, it actually means, but what I discovered is that by altering the offset, I could ensure that when that switch is flicked, There is no change to the trim setting in the zero throttle position. Because I do know that this model glides really, really well on the trim settings as it is. Um, I only want to alter it so that when the throttle's fully opened, uh, it doesn't go crazy. But that offset uh, means that when I throw the switch, there's not a jump in the trim of the elevator. So I'll try it out and I'll let you know how it gets on, but I thought it was worth while sharing with people. Bye for now.